What's up guys, welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to use Stream Deck on a Mac. Um, I know I'm making this video because there's not many videos out there. It's different on a Mac than it is a Windows computer, just a little different. Um, mainly with using it with Premiere. Um, Windows, it's different than Mac, especially with Premiere Pro, edit the editing software. So I'm going to show you guys how to get all that hooked up and show you guys how to set up your screens to where whenever you go to Premiere, it adjusts everything over to Premiere. And then whenever you go to any other window, it'll go back to your um, standard buttons that you have in place. So with saying that, let's get into the video and let's get started. Okay, so before we go any further with this video, the Stream Deck link is in the description if you're interested in purchasing it. Just so you know, we're gonna get started. Okay, so now that we're in the computer, let's get into what I know about this program and what you guys should know about it as well. So you gotta download the app Stream Deck, obviously. It's a very good program. Uh, it's very easy to use, as you can see. This right here is what my stream deck has on it so if I go you know you can set up multiple profiles I have a premiere profile that's my premiere profile and this is my default so whenever I open up premiere it uh, goes to this and I will demonstrate um, so I'm going to close out this so they don't mess that up now it went back to default and then I will grab the camera and show you guys okay so it goes to my default whenever premiere is not open as you can see, now I'm gonna actually click on Premiere, which is, as you can see right there, bam. And then it opens up Premiere, and then bam, it goes to the, to the Premiere profile. And how you get that set up is the question. So let me go ahead and get my camera set back up and show you guys how to do that. Okay, so now that you guys seen that, let's go ahead and show you how to do it. So you go to Stream Deck, configure Stream Deck, um, the way you get all these set up is you click on here and you go here, you title it, and then you hit choose. This is for apps, it's really not hard. Um, for websites, you, you title it and then you just type in the URL. And the way you get uh, your pictures is you find the pictures on the Google. Just type in Instagram PNG and then bam, it will be there. And then you just download it into the one you want. And the way I did it for my Premiere Pro is I had to find each one of these that I thought fit. You guys could find something else. But I found each one that I thought fit for new sequence, a marker, um, the audio, full screen, and then I picked and choose. But the way I did this is I just hit a new profile and then I just set it up. So just to give you guys an idea to set up hotkeys with Premiere Pro, it'd be just like any other hotkey. You would set it up normally, you would go down to your system, hit hotkey, drag it over, and then just say like, I'm gonna give an example of cut. You do that and then you just hit B. You know that's your shortcut. Even though you should just use the keyboard for that, but I'm just giving an example. Um, but the way I have it set up is whenever I have Premiere open, my Premiere shortcuts, as you've seen, pop open whenever I'm in Premiere so there's no way I could just accidentally hit B on the stream deck unless Premiere is open um, but there's so many things you could do with this it's, it's actually limitless because you could do as many profiles as you want I'm actually about to delete this profile um, you let me just open up Premiere and show you guys how to find out where your shortcuts and where your hotkeys are just so you guys know where the hotkeys are so you're not in the dark with that because you might not even know that okay so you go to keyboard shortcuts then here are all, all of your shortcuts for your keyboard and if you want to add any of these to your stream deck what you would do is you would find out what the hotkey is you would hit shift find out what your shift plus the hotkeys are and then you would just add them you go to your stream deck right here go to configure stream deck say you found one that you want to add to your stream deck you hit hotkey you title it whatever it's supposed to be titled it's called a match frame and then you do F and then now whenever your premiere is open you just it'll be there it'll be there ready to go in your stream deck and obviously you can change all the pictures like the way I showed you but that's how you do it I'm just gonna create a whole new profile and show you guys how to do a few of them new profile See, this one's just a welcome one. You could actually get rid of that. Just delete it, 
Okay, so I'm making a new profile. You can title the new profile whatever title you want. Just hit edit profile and you're good. But I'm going to show you from scratch how to do a couple of these. I'm going to do just a regular hotkey, drag it over, and then I'm going to title it uh, just, uh, what's the name whenever you hit command space? What's that called? I forget the name, but if you guys know anything about it, you just do this and then you type whatever that's called is what I'm going to create. So right now I'm just going to put I don't know because I'm drawing a blank and then you just hit that. And then now I can change, I can pick my picture and the way I do that is you just go uh, right here, set from file. If you go to Google, find the file and download it and their picture would be there. So now let's do a, uh, let's do a website and show you guys how to do a website. Just type in YouTube. Now I'm going to give it the URL youtube.com and then that should be that should be and then I could choose my picture I can set from file I think I can go to downloads is where it's at and then I have it under PNG and then I gotta find the YouTube one and then we should be good there it is and then hit open and then bam YouTube is there and then now when I click it, it should open up YouTube. Bam, look, it opened up YouTube, perfect. So yeah, that's how you do it. And then you have a lot of options here. For Windows, you have a little more options than you do. Not really, it's all the same with Mac or Windows. You have your OBS stuff here. You have Soundboard, Streamlabs, uh, your system, your computer system. Twitch stuff, uh, Twitter, YouTube, Control Center. You have everything here. It's really easy to use, and I would highly recommend picking one of these up. Um, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. And if I didn't answer something and you have a question, just leave them down there, and I will reply. So with saying that, thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope it helped you out. If it didn't help you out as much as you thought it would, just leave a comment, and I will answer. Um, with saying that, have a good day. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.